Hello, I am Jacinta Mpaliankana, author of Do Not Force It, Have the Good, and Love, Name, and Money. In this video, we're going to deal with the issue of abuse. And I want you to take your mind back to a situation, to an event when you were abused. Maybe it was physical, maybe it was by your ex or ex-husband or ex-boyfriend, it doesn't matter. Maybe it was your uncle or brother or auntie. And in this session, we are going to use the magical power of the emotional freedom technique to bring out those emotions that you felt or that are stored in your unconscious mind and could be secretly manifesting your experience. Metaphysics has proven that whatever we resist persists. So by us tapping on the meridian points that were discovered 5,000 years ago by the acupuncturist, we are telling these emotions that, hey, I acknowledge you, but I am who I am. I love, accept, and forgive myself anyway, so I'm not resisting you. And once you do not invest force or resistance in those emotions, they get out. Then you're able to tap into those meridian points again and reinstall positive affirmations. So right now, I want to close your eyes and go back to an event when you were abused. I want you to get back in the picture and associate yourself fully with it. I want you to see everybody that was in that event. Feel what you felt. See what you saw. Hear all the noises and everything that was said. Float into the picture entirely and fully commit and allow yourself to bring out all those emotions and feelings that you felt when you were going through that event, that situation of abuse. I'll give you a minute. So while you're in there, some of my clients say that they feel anger, resentment, they feel victim. Whatever you're feeling, give yourself permission to get in touch with those feelings. Now, right now, I want you to use the faculty of your imagination and slowly float out of the picture. And become a witness. See yourself in the distance. And now open your eyes. So, as you open your eyes, please take a deep breath. So now we are going to tap through the meridian point, bringing out those emotions that you might have felt. Although some of the statements that I say or I make may not resonate with you, just give yourself permission to hear what your unconscious mind, what your body, what your psychic is supposed to hear in this session. So please tap through the meridian points as I tap and repeat the statements after. There he is, abusing me, harassing me, embarrassing me, mocking me, interrogating me, disrespecting me. This is the man who told me that he loved me. What a liar. And I feel so angry. I feel so resentful. I feel so revengeful. All these negative emotions, all this anger, this bitterness, this frustration, this victim mentality, all this need to get even, all these vampiring emotions, all these negative memories, I'm sick and tired of them. I am willing to let them go. So take another deep breath right here. So as you tap along, you may discover that there are more things that come out. Maybe you might feel more angrier, you might feel angrier or more resentful or sad. Whatever emotions that are coming out right now, don't use them. Don't worry, it's part of the process. So now that the emotions are out on the mental page in front of the the plate, the mental plate. We are going to tap again in the next round and install positive affirmations. That way, those positive affirmations will be able to get an edge of the negativity and begin uplifting your life to experience more positivity in your life. So, please tap 
after me and repeat their statement as I say them. All this abuse. I'm ready to let it go. This frustration. What if I let it go? All this anger. I'm willing to let it go. I'm willing to forgive myself. I'm ready to forgive myself. I'm ready to forgive them. I'm ready to forgive everyone involved. I choose to forgive myself. I choose to let go. I choose to be free. I choose to dream my life. I choose to be happy. I choose to be excited about life. I choose to attract love that is real. I choose to attract love that is respectful. I choose to attract loving people in my life. I choose to attract loving situations. I choose to attract unconditional love. Because I am unconditional love. I am a brilliant being of light. I am connected to that infinite. I am happy and excited about life. I am free to love. I am free to be loved. I am free to live a full life. Thank you, my unconscious mind, for helping me grow my life. And I seal this process with divine love. So after tapping through that round, you feel a relief. You feel you feel lighter. You feel happier. And if you can go through this exercise for the next three or four days, you will definitely witness positive changes in your life. Thank you again. This is Jessica.